Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of The Long Run while we are playing Cross Code. Before we start, let me just make sure my settings are right. Looks like they are. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're up here now. In case you're wondering why we are up here, I, um... Off-stream, I have been doing a little bit of, um, I guess, exploration and grinding. I also had a bit of an extra stream um, on last Friday, where I did a whole bunch of quests. And uh, also have been looking for every single chest that I can find, including this one that contains a very large ember. Uh, no, unfortunately can't jump on the umbrellas. I did try. <laughs> it just kind of passed through them. So you'll notice that now that there are some maps where I have um, X's in them. So these are maps where I either there are no chests, like this one, or no remaining chests, or else I know where all the chests are on the map, such as this one here. This is the last chest that we haven't found or opened in Rhombus Square. Uh, also, if you look at the world map, uh, you'll notice 7 out of 7, 29. There's a couple of chests here I haven't found yet. Uh, same there. There's a couple of chests here that I actually can't get to yet because I, ha I don't have the required quest. But pretty much all of the west is all taken care of. Also, um, you'll notice this is a bit shorter, so I've cleared out all of the quests um, for most... well, for pretty much for all of the west. I haven't done uh, Gaia's Garden of Basin Keep. I kind of ran out of time during my extra stream. So if you missed that extra stream, you can uh, go over to the VOD repo. It's all uh, it's all there. I was also using a um, a piece of zero XP gear, which Jilmar did point out, that made it so that uh, I would avoid. Um, gaining too many levels, uh, I did take it off. Uh, in fact, I now have trainer gear, so that'll increase our um, our experience gain by 30%. Uh, another thing that I do have that's kind of interesting is the Giga Spiral Drill. Um, it's level 30, so not especially interesting to use right now, but um, we can make something neat out of that. We're just going to have to um, finish things up in Gaia's Garden, and honestly, I might, I might, I might do that on an extra stream instead of. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes. You know what? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know that we have a whole lot left to do, honestly. Whoa, what's going on? Computer, please. I guess, yeah, let's just go to Guy's Garden. I also filled out, by the way, the botanics. So for pretty much everything, Alan's Rise. Garden Trail, it's all done. Boom Valley, it's all done. Mountains Fall, Guy's Garden, Sapphire Ridge. Um, I wasn't going to do Sapphire Ridge, but I was just missing one of these. So that was literally the only thing that I was missing. Also Temple Mine, and also there, there are these, and this is where I'm missing one. It is in Basin Keep, and in order to get that, 
as well as the remaining four chests in this area, we need to do this quest. Seek her? Should I ask her? I guess she's as good as anyone, really. Well, here we go. Hey, you looking to make some quick cash? My dad wants me to collect some goods for, for him from the infested jungle region, but I ain't a fighter or collector. Don't know why he thinks it's a good entry trial, too. So, you know what? Ain't got all day. I think it's this quest that I need to do. Good, let's get down to business. I need you to get me 10 venom, shroom, uh, 10 venom shrooms and 5 glowing spears, gotcha? Good, good. Uh, come back when you got them. And make it quick, you hear? I'm pretty sure we already do. Ah, it's you. You finally got my goods? Well, about time, I might say, woman. You've been waiting literally five seconds, dude. Alright, that's all I need. Here's your cash. Nice knowing you, I guess. Okay, so maybe it wasn't that quest. Maybe I was incorrect. Hmm. Which one was it then? I know that there is a quest that we need to do. do, 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 do. Well, let's go to the quest song. Oh hey, Stella Tulips. Good to see y'all again, girl. Hi. As I said in the DL, I've got pe a peachy new upgrade for your hat. Y'all ready for the upgrade? Here you go. It's stronger and smells nice too. I gotta see it out. See y'all. Bye. So yeah, the uh We've got over 75% of the flora in the world. So now we just have a little bit more to go. Uh, in fact, we might just have a couple more to go. Anyway. So I think what we're going to do for the first part of this is just clean up the quests in Basin Key. Oops. And eventually we'll get access to some more areas. Hi! Seeker, right on cue. The water sample you, you help uh, the water sample you helped to collect has proven to be useful. We recently got the results of the test back, and the data is definitely worrisome. An unusual concentration of unfamiliar energy has been found in the water. Reports suggest that it uh, that it is strong enough to uh, to influence even larger plants and animals. As we speak, infected plants roam Guy's garden to spread the disease right into the roots of our, of our beloved forest. Seeker, will you lend uh, will you lend us your aid again to weed out this threat? This threat? Yes. Excellent. You're perfect for this job. I'm certain of it. Now, we still do not know how the infection started spreading, so you should start by eradicating its offshoots. There have been several sightings of infected Argaby in Western Guy's Garden. They seem to remain hidden near bodies of water when, uh, while drenching the grounds in their infectious energy. Through all, uh, uh, though with all the excess energy, you should be able to sense, the, to sense them from afar with your secret analysis. Please hurry and dispose of them. Meanwhile, we will find the uh, we'll try to find the real root of the problem. Bye. I seek so hard, man. I have no idea. Uh, where is? Oh, it's down here. Ah, Seeker, nice seeing you again. Still in still interested in our temple excavation, I assume? Yep. Well, of course you are. 
Well, we got some great news for you in that front. The door has been opened. You're now just about to, to plug it uh, to plug into the Trax energy circus from the temple out that lies behind it. But for that, we'll need someone to lead the defenses again. How about it? Got some free time on your schedule? I'm not really interested, but you know. All right, reliable as before. I see. Let's hope that that's also true for that tech you'll be using again. That defensive system from last time got a bit of an upgrade, but should be working about the same. Go back to that grubby cave on Calm Backyard and go through the door through that door inside. We already got some of our colleagues inside that can fill you fill you in on the details. Bye. Yeah. Bye. And good luck. You can also use this to go directly there. I am not in a hurry to do that quest, because that's tower defense again. Hi. Ah, the troublemakers are turned. I assume that your lack of self-restraint has not changed. Why? The huffy are we now? Well, dealing with the press and, and signing all those reports was not pleasant either, Seeker. In any case, we could use your help with, for another job. This time, no human lines will be directly involved, so you can, be, you can let loose as much as you want. Should be right up your alley, be frank. Good. Figure you'd be up, to, uh, up for another opportunity to blast those criminal birds. Darn right. It's about the situation at the damn clips and tower again. The building has been evacuated by now, but the Papa Gang still controls the highest floors. Why? But those feathery crooks have holed up with crates full of precious stolen fruit, slowly transporting it away. I would love to just store the place from the air, but we can't. The press would murder us for such a risky operation inside the city. And that's why you, Seeker, will help us with this. How? Look, I'm too busy to hold your hand here. Just talk to Officer Nielsen in front of the Clips and Tower again. Bye. Okay, um, what else we got? So we also have the turret defense challenge, which is uh, literally just an extension of, I think, the first part of the turret defense thing, which, again, not really interested. And I don't think we can reach this quest yet. Well, let's do some other quests first. Um, let's see. There's also this one, and this one. And those are later on, okay. So, remember how we uh, killed a bunch of, like, jack-o'-lantern type things? So now we can go in here. I've already talked to this guy uh, to let us in here. Welcome to Pumpkin Funland! Please enter the teleporter to start your ride. And this is not instanced. Interesting. Okay. Um. Oh, hi. Yeah, that's that one down, I guess. What was that? Very... Oh, hi! What just happened? The... 
stop doing that. Okay, this is just annoying now. Let's just kind of find the correct path. Which was not bad. Oh no, it was that. Okay. Apparently that one decided to explode. Terrific! Just terrific! Tiny one, it seems you already had great fun in Pumpkin Land. Alas, we're not done yet. Now it's time for the grand finale! Oh dear. Hmm. You okay there, Emily? Bugs! Why does it have to be bugs? They could have just thrown more pumpkins at us! Kill them! Kill them with fire! No, wait, ice! Kill them with ice! Sakai, did I just die already? Wonderful! Wasn't that great? Well, I sure had plenty of fun, tiny one. It's hard enough to haunt anybody in this city with, with everyone so busy. So I knew I had to aim for something big, start a proper boozness. <laughs> I, I, I entirely agree there, Leah. It's the only way to get any attention these days. Well, I sure call this a success. Thanks a lot for your participation, tiny one. Bye. Well, that's a thing that just happened. Now hopefully we can just leave this place unimpeded and never speak of it again. Wrong way. <laughs> the boozness one. Yeah, that was uh That was a bit rough. Even for me. I think this is this quest. Hi. Welcome back, Seeker. Have you made have you made progress on your assignment? Yep. Leah. I see. So you only managed to secure some of the ma uh, some of the machines before that criminal snow creature blocked you away. Nabrin Carado from Bergen Trail and invading Guy's Garden to steal cooling devices? This is outrageous! Indeed. And it presents a threat even beyond this robbery once it once it properly sells once it properly sells down. Not on my watch. I will instruct my best technicians to find a way through that icy blockade. Seeker, you have proven your worth. I hope you will return and finish this job uh, This job once preparations are right. Sir, how noble of you. Well, Seeker, I hope you will not let us down. Please return to us in the future. Bye. Got some huge nuts out of that. Because why not? Hi? Hello, Seeker. Good news. Preparations to subdue that dangerous Karata have finally been finished. Yes, our engineers have redoubled their efforts and, cre oh, and created an oven that will easily melt through even the coldest ice. I ordered one of my subordinates to, del to deliver it to the cave. Meanwhile, the target has not left the cave, so you should be able to, de to corner and defeat it. So, do you want to take this on now? 
Yeah, why not? Excellent. Mr. Frigo will explain to you everything you need to know. I'll have, I will leave the details to my subordinates on site. They are waiting for you in, the, in front of the icy wall. They'll give you a short introduction to a specialized heating, serve, a heating device and how to break through the ice. Good. Then you should be on your way. The cave is still in Old Timber in the Eastern, in Eastern Guy's Garden, in case you forgot. Good luck and please get rid of that scoundrel once and for all. Yes, and retrieve my precious machines. My. All right. Before we do that, uh, Eclipse and Tower. Hi. Oh, thank the ancients, you're back, Seeker. Maybe we can now. Maybe now we can finally get this damn tower back under control. At least there are no hostages. Uh, at least there are no hostages between the lines, but still. Those criminal birds seem more aggressive than ever. They got themselves fortified up on the roof with, roof with crates full of fruits and other stolen goods while preparing to fly them away. You need to take to get you need to get inside and take the elevator to, to the highest floor. From there you can reach the roof and secure the crates. We will send some transport aircraft to pick them up. All you all you would all you will need to do is power their magnets to load their crates. Well, and keep the gangsters in bay. We're counting on you, Seeker. Bye! Words are hard. Double X floor. Let's go. So yeah, this time we don't need to worry about uh, not hitting civilians. And just do this. Oh, and this is instance. Cool. Yeah, these guys are busy. Dang it. One left. There we go. So that should give us roof access. So that's basically our goal for this. Uh, fend off the uh, enemy birds. While also doing block puzzles. To get these off of the roof. We can push them off. I think that's a bad idea. That will probably result in an instant an instant loss, so let's not do it. Yeah, at least you strong. You're not wrong. Don't be so pushy. I think between the two of us, Jewel, you are the pushier one. Oh, you tricked me there, game.
Yeah, I'm going to try to prepare as many of these as possible. Of course, I didn't prepare this one, which is the one that actually needs to move right now. It's good to deal with the threat as swiftly as possible because they can eventually get overwhelming. Especially if they keep sending melons. There we go. the platform I go. Oh, okay, so this is the one where I have to do this. One disadvantage with uh, with sending these crates off is the more you send off, the less cover you have. Also, I don't know if this crate is going to be sent through here or through here. I could guard. I think we both know I'm bad at guarding. Oh, you gotta make me be careful. Alright. Off you go. I mean, there's lazy, and then there's, you know, just finding a different solution. Guarding is a perfectly valid solution, especially if you're perfect guarding. Hi! Oh, there you are. Nice job up there. We got a confirmation that all the crates have made it back in one piece. Looks like you uh, showed a pretty solid performance this time. So uh, even Sergeant Bronzel had, even Sergeant Bronzel and ancient, Ancients help us. The press won't find too much to complain about. Time to go back to Sergeant Bronzel at the HQ. The report of the operations should have already reached him. I. Uh, was it here or was it downstairs? No, it was downstairs. Here it is. Hi! There you are again. Seems like everything went according to the protocol. Excellent. <laughs> Apparently you are, really are very reliable, as long as your job doesn't involve diplomacy or public relations. Sorry. We'll just need to use your talents accordingly in the future. For now, you need to go. 
Now take your award and let me finish my reports. Bye. Oops. Uh, still... No new quests have, uh, have shown up. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting thing with the uh, level up system in this game. Every level is 1,000 experience. It's just how much you gain that ends up changing from level to level. Okay, so... What else do we have? Brevy Cave. We just have the two quests left. We have to kill 17 Amberies. I don't know how well that will go. They're all in Western Gaia's Garden. So, starting Royal, Royal Grove here. I think it said that they're all near the water. Here's one. Fishes. Alright, pretty much the first marine enemy in the game. Unless you count those jellyfish enemies of the Fire Temple. What about those seahorses? Now, please, let's ignore the seahorses. They aren't fish. They're nothing. They don't make sense. Okay. So by holding down uh, ZL here. And figure out where they are. Not a fan of the fact that they kind of pull everything nearby to you. Some people are argue that algae is a slime of life, but it's still a stretch. It certainly lacks the bounciness of the blobs. Me, please, no science facts about algae, let's see. Looks like there are none, as far as I can tell, on this map. I guess we'll just go south. Ah, here are two of them. Oh, there's a lot of stuff that has joined this, this battle I'm not a fan of. God dang it, Bobby. That boy ain't ready. Gotta turn that off. 
Trying to avoid elemental overloading. Three more. I am pretty into fighting, especially in this game. It's a really good game. Really good fighting system. By the way, uh, itch.io has a bundle. Um, I don't really get political here. And I'm gonna try to be minimally political. But a bundle of 991 uh, games and various things. And all proceeds are going toward uh, the support of U of uh, Ukraine. Uh, and most notably, at least as far as I'm concerned, Crosscode is in it. Unfortunately, I don't think it includes the DLC. Which is unfortunate, but um, considering that you're getting 991 things for as little as $10, that's still pretty darn good. Yeah, I've not once seen those fishes dive into the river. Those fishes. Yeah, good luck fighting those things in the water. It might not even be possible, given the water is in fact simulated. Oh no, back to that theory. Yeah, other games that are included that I can remember. There's uh, Celeste. There's Zero Range. Uh, sorry, Zero Ranger, which is a pretty neat shmup. Um, what else is there? There's Figment. There's. Uh, I think there was another thing by Maddie Makes Games. Towerfall, I think? Anyway. There's a lot of uh, good stuff in there. Where did they go? Like, where did anyone go? Ah! You jerk! Okay, maybe I don't want to fight uh, on a tiny island.
There's also some some pretty uh There's also some pretty neat names of things in that bundle, like uh there's like one that's like uh, there's six generatable uh, character types and one huge level. That's the whole game. Like that—that's not exactly the name of the game, but it's that kind of energy to it. And there's another one uh, that is a tabletop RPG system, simply called Thirsty Sword Lesbians. <laughs> This is the last one. Parrots, they are among the most intelligent birds we know. And all they could come up with is a du another dumb gun wielding. side of town, I believe. Either the west side of town or in this building. Yeah, there we go. That's the, that's the one I was on for. Hi! Seeker, you've done well in isolating the infection. Meanwhile, we are able to find the cause of the problem. Another plant has been found, older and with a much stronger concentration of energy. It must be the source. And now it has taken root in West Passage, directly next to central streams of water. Seeker, you must face it and finally return it to the ground before the infection starts again. Bye. We gotta go to Wet Passage. I knew it was coming, I just figured I would uh, give you the first opportunity. Buff Balloon. This is a two phase mini boss, too. A phase one complete. And there we go. I didn't force you, Jewel. I encouraged you. <coughs> I 
Which, some would argue that it's not a good idea to, to encourage certain people, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta. Hi. Seeker, you have destroyed it, right? Fantastic. Will that threat now banish my fellow gardeners and swarm out and purify the waters? How and where that plant was able to amass such power remains a mystery, but we will investigate the trail. You Seeker have truly done excellent work. Take these rewards and be blessed. Bye! Well, that leaves us with one quest to do. Uh, it's not here. Well, this looks like a fancy room. Hi. Ah, there you are, Seeker. Good to see that you finally arrived. I already pre finished pre the preparations a while ago. Well, let's not stand around here wasting time. I'll be waiting for you on standby at the machine. Hi. Okay, there you are. So I guess we can finally push past, uh, push through that last row. It should be similar to the last time you helped us out, so let me just give you a short rundown. Here we have our new and improved track power extraction device. It will drain the missing all the energy of the track from this position of power and save it for later use. Of course, as you'd expect, start, uh, starting the extraction will provoke hordes of monsters to attack us. Yeah, typical track tantrums, am I right? In any case, you'll have to defend the Seeker. Though this time, so, uh, those sly beasts will come from two paths at once. All the more reason to use our amazing turret defense grid, grid again. Just gotta hit him a few times before activating them with a charge attack, just like last time. Well, you should get uh, you should get how this works by now. Just talk to me again once you want to start. Hey there, Seeker. Ready to defend against those waves? Alright, I'll start up our generator here in a second. Okay, waves should start as soon as I release the safety. So activate that turret by hitting it a few times and then using a charged projectile on it. Alright, now activate that other turn on the left so we can start properly. First wave incoming from the left side. As before, those shields will reflect damage, so wait for the neutral turrets to get rid of them. But also activated the heat and cold turrets. You can still activate them with a uh, charge shot of your respective element. But don't forget that only neutral turrets can break shields. Tension Seeker, we also got hostiles coming in on the left side right now. And unfortunately, it's this, these, uh, Buggers. Good job, Seeker. Seems like they'll continue to attack from both paths at once. I'll now activate our new shock and wave elemental turrets. As usual, I'll activate them with the charged shot of their respective element. Ah! 
Ha, uh, I got owned by myself there. Remember, they have reflect shields. One of them still had their shield up. I wasn't paying attention there. Oh, they're coming from the right. Right, they're coming left. So we still have enough energy. So for the most part, the right side is going to be more susceptible to wave. For the most part, the left side will be more susceptible to shock. is just explained there. Uh, Fire and Ice still have uses. Um, they're not as useful as the, um, the original challenge, but uh, they are still useful. Something big approaching from the right. Heckin' Chonker. Oh, not enough energy. I forget how many waves there are. Uh, neutral, please. Somewhere there's no enemies. Eat a sandwich. Um. Eat a better sandwich.
problem is doing a decent job of taking care of itself. Which is not to say that we should just not do anything. It is, however, to say that we had some pretty good defense going on at the end there. So, at least there's that. And done. Nice work, Seeker. Come back for uh, come back to me for a second so we can finish this off. Oh uh, well, well, you look at that. Seeker, our machine is running smoothly and has already gathered lots of the ancient energy. Truly a fantastic piece of tech, this baby. And moments like this make all the trouble seem worth it. Hi. Oh yeah, you also did fine. This, this operation would have been difficult without your protection, so thanks. <laughs> sure. So yes, report back to HQ to get your reward. And until next time, bye. Uh, and there actually is a, like, documented method to set up the turrets for the extended version of that quest, which is repeatable, by the way. Um, that mostly kind of takes care of itself uh, up until a certain point. Uh, you basically the idea of grinding that is to get some points that you can uh, put toward like getting special types of gear. I know that's the shop. I guess I could have just taken the teleporter, which I didn't think to do. Oh. Well. Hi! Oh hey, the Seeker makes her heroic return after once again taming the wild. Yep. Yes, he did a good job indeed, and an important one. Replacing that device would have set us back for weeks if it broke. And now we can siphon that sweet, precious track energy and also extract more information for future missions. Hopefully we can count on you again in the future, Seeker. See you, see you around. Bye! We are 10 episodes in. Uh, so we got Torrid Defense Challenge 1 and 2. We got Foul Play here, which... Again, I don't think we can actually physically reach right now. I don't think we have access to the uh, back roads here. Could be mistaken, of course. I wonder how I get that chest. See, that's where that uh, quest is, by the way. Not a whole the not a whole lot that you can actually climb on top of. Uh huh. Once we got a pass, we don't have a pass. In a slum. Oh, that sucks. I could have sworn there's something that you can climb up on. I can't. 
Like I've been trying to. That's also asking for a pass. Oh, here we go. You there, Seeker. Blue hairs, Fairmancer, Horns. Hi. The boss tells us of a woman we are to look for. You fit the you fit this the description. You recently helped a certain Mick, right? Good. In that case, I must ask you to go down the stairs and meet the boss. The no's not acceptable, I'm afraid. Oh dear. There's nothing you have to worry about. Please come with me. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. So it, that quest that I said that we had to, to clear out was the cl the quest we needed to clear out. Just so we had just so we had to come into this building and talk to this guy, whose name, of course, is like Don to Don Don or something. Welcome, Seeker. Excuse the rather rude invitation. Hi. I assure you there is nothing for you to be afraid of. In fact, I invited you here to thank you. My men tell me you helped my boy here, gathering precious resources from the perilous infested parts of the jungle. Sure did. A great feat, I might say, even when he was supposed to gather them himself. Even, even when he was to gather them himself. Ah, oh, come on, Dad, I did it all by myself, I swear. Shut up, boy. It's bad enough that you have brought shame on yourself and the family. But quiet now, Yasika. What you did for my son showed me you have some great potential. Potential that we could use for a little problem. You see, our family runs a business that is vital to this humble part of the city. Many citizens re uh, require the, pro the processed substance procured from mushrooms found in the infested jungle. The health concerns of my pe of my people are just as important to me as the ones of my own family. We sell this medicine for cheap, thanks to our own trading route. But let us say that this route is not official. Oh, we're all up to, we're all about doing not official things here. I mean, this is Leo we're talking about. Recently, the High Trader Council breached our route, which led to an obvious shortage of medicine for our poor people. Gods now patrol part of the route. Finding another route would just bring us, uh, bring more gods uh, on us eventually, so another solution must be found. And with you, I, th I think we might have just found one. Your seeker skills should allow you to find paths with none were before. Am I not right? Yes, I think so too. Now what if instead of finding trying a new route, we smuggle the goods past the gods? The fine gods would do their honest work, and we would do ours. No one gets hurt. Of course, this favor would not come without reward. I'm sure you already noticed that outsiders are not allowed to enter our trade hubs here in Pond Slums. If you agree to help us, I will personally grant you a pass allowing you entrance to our trade hubs. So what do you say? Are you willing to help us uh, to help us in these most desperate of times? Sure. Splendid. Now the train route uh, I spoke of runs below the city. Starting right here in the basement and going all the way through, uh, to the infested jungle. I want you and my son to go into the infested jungle entrance and find a way past the gods. What? I have to go with her? You will do what I say. Understand? Yes, sir. Meet my son at the lost lookout in the infested jungle. He knows the secret entrance. He will give you a special chip which will allow us to track the path you took. So don't worry about every about jotting everything down. Off you go then, for the good of the people. And buddy's gonna go off there. Mushroom Kingdom. Cute. A lost lookout.
Uh, we are on the lookout, wink, for a um, for a suspicious-looking individual, I guess. Where are they? Unfortunately, my secret skills are not telling me where this guy is. Just know for Lost Lookout. Whoops. Uh, let's see if there's like a shortcut somewhere that we found. Looks like no. Gotta seek harder. Seek hard too. Seek harder. Ah, uh, there you are. Uh, you finally are here. The minute this infested mess I'm out of, out of died of boredom. Heck, you too, buddy. Now come on, let's get this over with. Let's stay out of my way, capiche? Need for seek underground. Follow me. With all those instance quest rooms, ah, uh, with all those instance quest rooms, this moon must be almost entirely hollow. I hate this cave. Way too gloomy and wet. Ruins my suit, you know? Yeah, I never assumed you'd understand. We're almost there, just down this way. Alright, here we go. This is the part of the cavern that got breached by those darn guards. I like how the chest detector message is still up there. Here, take the chip. Once I move the box here, the chip will start tracking your movement. Your goal is to find a way to the to the exit south of here without a guard noticing you. Talk to me when you're ready, Capiche. And be prepared, because I won't let you go until you're done, woman. Okay then. Oh, wait, before my dad yells at me again, here's a smoke away and some intel on the guards I've been found. Use the smoke when you get when you get caught. You'll be able to run back here and I'll close the box. Got it? Good. Ready right when you are. Uh, trying to attack him is not going to result in anything good happening, Joel. Ready? All right. Talk to me again if you want to check him out. Also, don't attack the guards in any way. Don't want to raise suspicion, right, Joel? Use direct link to call me once you're through. It's just going to be exactly the same result as when I inevitably get caught. Um. Well, this is unfortunate. Alright, so this is probably not the way to go. Where am I supposed to go? I can't go that way. I'm just straight up the dude there. There's two dudes here. And there's a dude there. So where do I go? Probably have to Climb onto something.
Okay, game. Seriously, what do I do? This is what happens, Jewel. That's exactly what happens. Also interesting, like, I cannot aim. I can't aim, I can't I yeah, I can't, like, I'm pressing the attack button right now, it is not working. So even if I wanted to, I literally cannot attack these guys. Okay, what am I not seeing here? What am I not seeing? That is something super obvious. No, I didn't want to check it out. I wanted to see if you had any advice. I was like, this is the obvious first move, because that guy is walking around. Oh. So why are these guys just moving around now. Were they stuck like that? Like, were they not supposed to just be staring at each other like that? Would they have gone away if, uh, if I had waited long enough? Anyway, I pressed that button. Well, they, they weren't moving when I was looking, so, you know. Also, it bothers me that I can't aim. Oh, dang it. Because, like, you, you know as well as I do, I use the aiming... Uh, the aiming reticle to shift the camera around. You're totally gonna look in this direction, are you? Yeah. I mean, it's about time that I get to use smoke bombs. Everyone else was using smoke bombs in the other town areas. And there 
There's zero way to get around that. There we go. Oh, that's you. Did you find a way? Finally, only took you five tries. Well, heck you do. Give me a minute. I'll use the same way. I'll use the same way using the tracker chip I gave you. Damn, woman. Was this really the only way? So much walking. Thankfully, I don't have to carry the goods. That'd be just off. That would be just awful. Don't give me that look, will you? You can go back to my dad with the tracker chip and get your reward. You can keep the smoke away and explore this cavern if you want. Also be a good girl and make sure to tell him I helped a lot, gotcha? Sure, why not? I knew I could count on you. Now if you go, the rest of the, uh, the rest is just a long, small tunnel anyway. And yeah, we can't actually continue this way. That's Autumn's fault. Ah, oh, what can I say, Jewel? I'm a nice guy. Uh, where was it? Here? Yes. You have returned, Seeker. I have already received work from my son. Splendid work. Now all we need is a tracker chip and we can get right back to procuring the mushrooms. With this, we can finally start our production again and help the dear sick people. Cal's own family will forever be in your debt. As promised, a pass is to our trader hubs is your reward. I hope our wares will be to your liking. I will also advise our cashier upstairs, uh, upstairs to sell a product to you. May aid you in battle as it eases the pain of the people of Pond Slums. Alright, we got the pass now. Ross tells me I gotta sell you the one up. Don't know why, but here you go. I don't know what this does. Oh, it gives you a couple of buffs for 69 seconds. Nice. But yeah, now we can access these areas. Now look at that! You got yourself a pass from the man himself. Make sure you leave lots of cash, alright? A bandit scarf. Which, as you can see, is an upgrade from the Thieves Band. Uh, the level 25 gear that we do have. And if we had sold it, we wouldn't have it anymore. So this game actually does give you a valid reason to not sell everything immediately. You okay, guys? You just kind of catapulted upward there. Aha! And there is the plant that I was looking for. There we go. Sprout of Spirit. Which gives us the Stone of Spirit. We just have one more of those to find. Hi! A seeker, huh? I see. An agent of the... Uh, I see. An agent of the United Voyager Nation. Hi. Yes, the United Voyager Nation, supreme government of all humanity of Sh on Shadoon. The driving force behind the exploration of the Dragon of the Ancients and pro protector of the prosperity, among other things. Why? Prosperity requires progress and security. Power is the key to both. And power is gained through tools. Tools powered by the track. Tools like you, Seeker, and weapons. How? Seems like there's a, a seems like there's a solid mine of its own there. 
Want to help me reveal more of the truth? This is level 60, so I don't know if we'll be able to properly do this. Yes, yeah, good. Motivation worthy of the true Seeker spirit. Yeah. The Seeker's mission the Seeker's mission to beat the track of the ancients uh, for the advancement of Shad and humankind. Many have been made puppets of individual interests, corporations, the government, their own personal motives. Why? Greed, track the ancients, thirst and power uh, thirst for power and control. And the population turns a blind eye as long as as long as peace is that peace in their little worlds is maintained. We can make a difference here, Seeker. Bring the results of those actions to light. How? Let's not waste too many words. Time's already short. Go to Clinging River in Guy's Gardens and, and search for suspect life forms. I'll keep contact with the direct link and give you further instructions. Good luck, Seeker. Bye. Interesting. We have some plot developments here. Also, we have these blocks here, which are preventing us from moving in that direction. Also, the uh, the physics on these uh, angles here is a little wonky. There we go. Now those blocks have been taken care of. We should be able to just go over here and get some treasure. Stuff fell down somewhere at my place. I don't understand what you're saying, Jewel. Heard a bonk sound? I am not really sure what that could have been. Oh! I think you I think you might be talking about my chair. Yeah, unfortunately it's uh it's getting to be a slightly older chair, so. Kind of entered this place from the incorrect direction, but you know. Excalibur. Oh, that's... That takes a lot of uh, materials and a fair bit of money. And it's also zero XP gear. I'm still gonna buy it though. Galaxy Spiral Drill. Well, look at you, young one. Found yourself something rare with that Giga Spiral Drill. Could upgrade it for you if you want. Only you need certain items for it. Well, we have all of them. Been a while since I held this in my hands. Time to go. Find a new place to stay. Maybe we'll meet again. And still sense a greater power in my drill. Bye. Note to myself, visit Sapphire Ridge. Okay. The bigger stick. Alright. Golden revolver. Um, this person just has no interest in us for some reason. And there's a chest right over there. Let's see if we can get it. Can we jump? Ah. 
There's something here we can jump on, but it doesn't seem to bleed anywhere, unfortunately. jump on this plant? Uh, I guess probably no. I wonder, by the way, if that drill is an upgrade. No, it is not. All 57, level 60. See, this is high enough that uh, it goes over the tents. But how do we actually jump onto the tents? Also, what's with this music? Oh, we were s okay, okay, okay. We were supposed to go from that ledge down onto the tent, and then we can get the chest. Got it. So we have to climb up from... here. Also there's one over there. That's not far enough. Hmm. Yeah, so I think we're on the fence now. Yeah, there we go. We got a tremor engine. That sounds exciting. Right, so now we gotta hey, we gotta climb back on top of here. By the way, I will mark this one as collected. <laughs> they just gotta catapult up again, because uh, they like doing that apparently. Uh, then we jump down here. No. <laughs> also, there's that one chest, like... There? I love how that's consistent, too. Um, I think it's down here. Nope, definitely not. In fact, now I'm stuck. God dang it. Also, I promise that uh, 
for the second half of this stream, we will be focusing on uh, progressing the storyline. Basically, I just wanted to get some stuff done here. It's not here. This is where I have to jump down. Yeah, there we go. Some epic metal. In fact, we might be able to get started with story stuff before the break. Uh, we still have a good about 20 minutes. Won't be able to make it very far, but uh, Okay, this is where we jump down. Now we're on the roofs. And we get a one up. Do 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 do. And that is six out of six chests in Gaia's Garden. Um well other than that, it's pretty it'd be pretty much just grinding for like stuff for that boosted gear that we might be able to boost further in Sapphire Ridge. Um, which I'm not going to really bother with right now. I haven't really searched Sapphire Ridge for chests yet, but um... While I'm going through, I will go ahead and mark um any locations that do have chests. Uh, now unfortunately, we are gonna have to say temporarily goodbye to our party. I'm just glad I didn't bust up the wrong thing today. Until next time! D'accord, until next time, Mia. chest here, which I'll put in the corner until I know where it is. Because remember, um, the, the pretty much the deal was once the time comes that we actually have to uh, go into like places that start uh, divulging Leah's story, that we have to do it alone. So we got the Meteor Shade, which allows us access to this area here. Well, this is looking familiar. Wait! Yeah. You, did you see something you remember? Poof, finally we found something. Well then, we should take a, a closer look around here. But make sure to explore the place by yourself. Already on it, Chief. Now that's the exit, right? Also, here is the final uh, landmark, so we can continue with the Henry quest later on. Uh, looks like there is a chest right about here. Uh, did it just say there was just the one? There are three. Okay. So then another one in the corner here, and another one in the corner here, because we don't know where they are yet. Also, yeah, there's still a dungeon left. Big update still this year? 
So basically, this is just an NPC that they've got repeating the same thing over and over again. And these people just impatiently waiting for that content to arrive. Ah, and there's the last one. So, here-ish. And so now we know there are no more additional chests in that area. That's so wow, people just wait in front of some place, even if they're waiting for months or years. Like, they, they log in, just park in front of the next story area and do nothing. Also, yeah, there are no chests here. Okay, we made it here, but why? <laughs> I didn't understand the path, the the point of jumping that path. Well, anyway. Wait. Is it here? Is it is the entrance in this area? All right. Now, is there any way to activate it? Can you remember? You remember? Ah, you remember how to do it? Apparently not entirely. No. Sorry. It is alright. We'll just try our best. You have a look around and I will watch the logs. Maybe I can pick up something as well. Okay, let's wander around then. Oops. So that just bounced us out of there. I'm detecting some tracking in the logs. Oops. Stopped. Did you hear that sound too? Sounded like we did something right. Let us look around some more. But basically, kind of like an Easter egg they stuck into the game. That's not it. Sorry, trying to remember what the exact path that they want here is. Nope. That is very particular. Thank you. 
Nope. Oh, come on now. Definitely not there. But then I pass through here. What do you want here? Again, seems we're getting closer. That's our end point. Around here. And not over there. But what? In the water is definitely not where we go. I gotta go around this side, I think. What? It didn't cancel that time. I don't understand that. And what are you looking for here, game? I feel like this is a little too specific. Sometimes it just cancels right away, which I don't understand. I, I, I understand that specific is kind of the point, just that... Like, there, there's a certain level of it that can be enjoyable. I just, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, and there's no real indication of what I'm supposed to be doing, aside from you did the wrong thing, and also you finish here. I was trying to jump there, game. And sometimes I just decide to cancel immediately. God dang it! Okay, but like, now what? Oh, there we go. That must be it. We did it, Leo. Yes, we did it. We got through the annoying part of this. And we got this portal that leads to somewhere. Hmm. Well... 
uh, we're going to have to find out where that portal leads to. Um, but we're going to find that out after our break. So things are getting interesting. But, uh, well, things are getting interesting and in about 10 to 15 minutes, we'll find out where that portal leads and uh, see if we can discover anything about Leah's past. And don't mind me, I'm just saving the game right now. Alright, so, um, back in a bit.